Asante, asante sana, asante sana for joining us for another classic episode of the Weekly Edition. I'm your host, Dr. Kingori. We have a great show lined up for you. One of the fun things we intend to do on this episode is to fact check one of the most beloved entertainers in this country, DJ Afro. Especially places zenye uongi ya Chinese. Ajabu ni kuwa, communication. Mawashiriano baina ya huyu mtoto na jamaa wetu ni ngumu kwa sababu mtoto anaongea kizungu jamaa wetu hajui kizungu anajua tu kichinese sasa nataka kumwambia funga macho anamwambia nyonyongonyo ah sawa our guest for this episode is a content creator she teaches chinese in the country and i know you love her miyang zao is in the house <laughs> We'll be talking to her in a bit, but first, this week, Deputy President Rigathi Gashagwa revealed that he first procured his first underwear in Form 2. <laughs> You've got to love Rigi G for being such an open person. <laughs> no pun intended. Now, I know this story is a highlight of the humble beginnings our Deputy President has come from. So it's accurate uh, to say that, unajuanga umeanza kuomoka, ile time umeanza kuva underwear. <laughs> and now I understand why what people mean by kukafunga. Unajua? <laughs> unajua nimekuwa najiuliza eh kukafunga kukafunga ni kanini kanafungwa? <laughs> now when Rigi G's testimony hit the headlines, a lot made sense, especially this. If you want to hang us, we are helpless. If you want to remove our trousers and whippers on the buttock, <laughs> go ahead. We don't have the money. Now, do you see why the deputy president was not afraid to chop Bila Suruari in a governor's and do pesa? It's because of experience. Ali chop on Maisha Bila Suruari in Paka Form 2. That's like 16 years' experience. Now, this goes out to all Rigiji's haters, those who doubt that he's an honest man. That right there was the naked truth. <laughs> Now, the position of the underwear as a status symbol has just been validated, and that explains the sagging culture in hip-hop. In other news, uh, Transport CS uh, Kipchumba Murkomen hit the airwaves, like literally this week, for this video of him making an announcement on a flight. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jamaikinan International Airport. For your own safety and comfort, remain seated in your seat very fast now what is that when they learned that the speech was being made by a politician for the first time passengers had to check under their seats to see if the floaters were actually there <laughs> god forbid maze, imagine if the plane lands on water alafu una swim kwa indian ocean mhesh maze ulituambia chini ya kiti kuna flota now i'm very sorry seems like the previous regime did everything to make sure that they will leave kenyans sinking now, haters claim that this is probably why the internet was awash with claims uh, of local flights getting delayed. You know, anywhere a politician is involved, there is no guarantee of anything being delivered on time. Now, still on politics, Azimio leader Raila Odinga unlawfully declared 20th March a public holiday to facilitate for mass action, the mass action protests. Now, an interesting point to note in the announcement was when Honorable Martha Karua was correcting Baba on the actual date. Hereby now declare today, in the name of Azimio, the Omoja One Kenya Alliance Coalition, that Monday, 23rd of March. So, sorry, let me repeat again. We declare that Monday the 20th of March will be a public holiday. Now, I don't think Baba announcing the 23rd was a mistake. It just confirms what people say. Baba is ahead of time. Ni kama vile tu wahenga usema, mahali mzee anaona kama mekachini. Now, that cannot apply hapa mzee ajakachini. Saindi anatafuta kiti. Now, 
Elsewhere, members of the clergy in Western Kenya have come out to deny the legitimacy of Yesu Watongaren. You know, every passing week, something happens that goes one step further to prove that Yesu Watongaren could be legit. Think about it. We have less than a month to Easter. That is when Jesus was crucified. And just like in the Bible, the church has already come out to deny the Son of Man. This comes in the wake of reports that Yesu Watongaren had rushed to the police uh, for security of a concern because of a plan to crucify him next week, but one. Tunaza kaivi tukifikire hizo vitu za kusulubisha Yesu Watongaren ni jokes maze. Alafu upate kumbe na inja, watu nataka kufos matanga. And that will be an interesting twist for Yesu Watongaren to feed 5,000 people. But then again, this is Western Kenya. You don't need Yesu Watongaren to feed 5,000 people when you have Cleophas Malala. We are under control. Everybody, muti hota meka hapa paka hende mbali na lunch, 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 lunch. We have capacity, man. I repeat, Mazze, there is something biblical about Western Kenya. Anyway, we have a great show lined up for you. Myang Zhao joins us on the other end of this short commercial break. See you in a bit. Hey, Mazze. Asante sana. Welcome back to the weekly edition. I'm your host, Dr. Kingori. Uh, Karibuni sana, Mazze. Episode yet we Leo. Uh, we have... Uh, our guest is a content creator. He's doing big things on TikTok. Mnamjua uh, for adapting to the Kenyan culture. But she teaches Chinese on top of content creation. Creation. Today we have a window into the Chinese culture. And Labda Takwana Crash program Yakulan. Miyang Zhao is in the house. Uh, thank you. Welcome to the show, Miyang. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, did I pronounce that correctly? Miyang. Very, very. And then the Zhao. Zhao. It's Jiao. Jiao. Ah, okay. You have to the like draw the tongue. Jiao. 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 <laughs> Food is one of the things actually you've had to adapt to. Yeah, like from what course. you eat in China and mm -hmm. what you eat here. Yes, yes. How did you transition? Mm, it took me like a few weeks, by the way. You know, my stomach was not uh, accepting it at first. It was uh -huh. not agreeing, yeah. Ah, yes. nice. Yeah. That brings us to what was your stomach used to? <laughs> yeah, even you, <laughs> if you go to China, you experience the same. Yeah, especially, especially if you go to a place where people eat of chili, you know, you will have uh, some serious issues. Yeah, a lot you of know chili. what I mean, yeah, yeah. Yes, pe people make fun mm -hmm. of, um, uh, of how, I think, I think it shouldn't actually be fun, mm -hmm. it's how open mm. the Chinese are when it comes to food, mm. right? Like in terms of, let's say for example, on the animals part. Mm -hmm. Like, what are the kind of an, uh, some of the animals that uh, or yes, animals that mm. are eaten in China mm -hmm. that when you came here mm. you found? Uh, you mean the ones that you don't find them here? Yes, yes, yes. Mm, okay, I, I know what people actually when they think of like uh, the way Chinese eat. The first thing come to their mind maybe like dog meat, you know, mm -hmm. and maybe things like uh, snake, you know. <laughs> But they're not common food. Okay, some people eat, but not very common. Yeah. Oh, it's not common. No. It's just that people assume. Uh, okay, people eat them, but of course, uh, like next like snake is very expensive. So they're usually eaten in very expensive hotels, not just ordinary homes. You know, so it's not really about the. You know, it's uh, some weird, but of course, it's also very expensive. Like so, snake is like cool kids' food. Like <laughs> <laughs> snake, snake, snake uh -huh. is up there with. Um, yeah. Like like turkey and stuff. Uh, yes, like like those uh, like like in Kenya we have like uh, which kind of meat very expensive. For example, like um, okay, I don't know which kind of meat is more expensive in Kenya. So I'll just give you a contrast. Mm -hmm. Like why should the snake be expensive? Like what's what's the difference between a snake and motura, for example? <laughs> <laughs> you know, first of all, you know it's not all snakes can be eaten. You know, some of them they are poison, so it's dangerous to eat. And again, for people to get them, it's very hard. You understand? Yes. Yeah, that's why. Mm. Okay. And also, snake has has another function. It's like has the medicinal part of it. Wow. Some people do they, they soak them in the wine. It becomes like the snake wine, and then you can treat some problems of your body. Snake yeah. wine. Yes. Yes. <laughs> 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 yes. Yes. Wow. Can a motura business work in China first? <laughs> Okay, maybe you can work as like a street food. We also have a lot of street food in China, also a lot of them. But you don't have motura there. 
Okay, not exactly the same, but maybe something, the preparation could be different, yeah. It could be the same thing, but how it is prepared. Yeah, because we also eat like matumbo such, but you know, we cook them differently. You even have matumbo in China. Yeah, and the people like it because, uh, you know, the, but in China they wash it too clean, you know. It's like it even, the color it turns like, uh, you don't even remove, they remove that layer of the, how do you call it, that, that brownish thing. So, it's like you find that the color is different and uh, people want it to clean very well. They believe it's not very clean, you know. <laughs> they clean it, back, they just eat the polythene. They only eat that, that's the one in the center, that one, that part. That's the only part they eat now. Yeah, they remove the, the brown thing, the rough thing, I don't know how to call it. And then there's something brownish, uh, they remove those, yeah. Then that's not matumbo. <laughs> yeah, they but people eat. The matumbo out of. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people here, they believe you need to not wash it so clean so that you can feel the, the you know, the original you taste of it. Yeah? We like to play dirty. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> cultures are very different yes. uh, should not be made fun of should be celebrated mm -hmm. you have people who can cook a dog right yeah dog meat yeah yes dog meat mm. deep fried <laughs> <laughs> but then mm. how do these people separate dog as meat mm -hmm. and dog as pet oh we don't like, eat pet how pet, do you no. hang pet out with the pets yes yeah. you don't eat pets pets no we don't eat pets so you, you, there is standardization. Like unajua, for us in mm. Kenya, mm -hmm. we don't pet chicken. We don't, we don't, we, don't <laughs> we, we cannot pet a goat, right? Yeah. But in China, there's a section of people mm -hmm. who are okay mm. deep frying a dog, mm. right? Yeah. Or there's a certain type of dog that mm. can be fried mm. and a certain type of dog that is good as a pet. Yeah. Okay, generally people don't eat pets. That one, I've never had one like they're cooking their pets. No, no, no. But a dog is a pet. Uh, oh, oh, I'm talking about those ones like the chihuahua, that type, that those pets people don't oh, eat. Oh, eh? just the chihuahuas. Such, the similar ones, yeah. Like oh. the German shepherd, those ones, people don't eat those ones, no. <laughs> oh, oh, the German shepherds. But they those are the ones, ones that have meat. That <laughs> no, people, people don't eat those, no. It, it, like those, the, how do I describe? The like bulldog. those dogs, you have seen them, like the ones they usually, like, like uh, how do you call it? Those ordinary ones. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, oh, people eat the ordinary dogs, like the mm. Mutani ones. Like. Yeah, I don't know how to call those ones. Yeah, they, they eat those oh, ones. Oh, Akinasiba. But I remember when I was young, <laughs> even in our hometown, yes. some people, they could put some, something poison so that they kill them and then they go and cook because it's very hard to catch a dog because they come back, it's hard to get them. So there's a kind of medicine. They, they mix in the, in the food of the dog. You know, they, they eat and then they... They fall asleep, asleep and they die peacefully like that. Yeah, the <laughs> people used to get them and then they just take them like that. Yeah, I've oh, heard such oh, stories. Oh, nice. That's an interesting thing to say. Like mm. dogs are not slaughtered like chicken. No, no, no. They are sedated. Yeah, sometimes they, they go and give them some medicine or something, yeah. So that means they are not even slaughtered. They go mm. through surgery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the way how sometimes some animals, how they are like like how they are like uh, killed or prepared is different like rabbits do you know how chinese kill rabbit uh -huh. they don't slaughter they put them upside down then they put some wine they get drunk in that wine they, they die yeah the rabbit <laughs> <laughs> wow seriously yeah the, you know rabbits they fear wine so if you put them in a wine and like this for some seconds they don't breathe and that wine yeah it make them to like uh, they're drunk yeah they're drunk and then they, they, they just die slowly like that well, and then you eat meat that is 40% alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> no, they have not taken the wine, but that smell already is making them, you know? Yeah, it's making yeah. them drunk. Yes. So you just boil it like that. Of course, you have to remove the, the, the skin and the fat and all that. Huh? Oh, yeah. and have you ever had a chance? Like, mm, you, you were in China for some years. Yeah. Did you ever have a chance to taste a dog? Like Dog meat, I ate once, yeah, yeah. When I was young, our neighbor prepared, and then it was winter, I remember I... Yeah, we, we were told to go and join them to eat. Yeah, I ate. Did you know? Yes, I knew. <laughs> what, what do you eat it with? With ugali? Ama, uh, <laughs> ama, ama umpwa choma, as in? Okay, in, in China, the dog meat usually they are prepared, uh, not, not dry fried. Uh, it's, uh, we call them hot pot. So it's like ah. there's a way you fry and then you put some soup, you boil. Yes. Uh, you know, in China, rice is very common. The staple ah, food. Ah, yes, yes, rice yes. or um, something to do with like noodles, you know, such. Oh, so dog is mostly um, eaten with rice. It's a uh. delicacy. <laughs> uh, recently, we had a very interesting conversation around mm -hmm. the mall that was opened on Thicker Road, the mm. China Square, right? Yeah. And people, uh, the owner, it was a very controversial conversation, mm. and people were saying, mm -hmm. the owner actually said mm. that um, 
the things that he is selling, he came and found that they were a little, the price was a little steep locally. Mm -hmm. What was your experience? When you came to Kenya, mm. uh, I, I'm sure you had to buy a few things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you course. find yourself saying, ah, no, I'm not buying this. This is too <laughs> high for this. Have you ever found yourself in that situation? Yeah, of course. Uh, sometimes I, I compare like uh, how much is in China and here. Okay, if I send them from China, it will be cheaper. But of course, nowadays you look at the transport by, by freight, it's really expensive. So sometimes if you can get them from here, you just buy because, you know, it's, it's easier, you can, it's instant, you know. Okay. Yeah. And in terms of products, uh, China has been criticized for, say, some standard product. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, and I think to some extent it gets uh, to a level of mm. uh, people associate fake and Chinese, right? Mm -hmm. Which, uh, how, how do you feel about that and what mm -hmm. is the explanation behind it? Okay, uh, yes, I also actually, people sometimes come and ask me like uh, why Chinese things are cheap and some of them like, like they are not of high quality and like, they get brick easily, you know. Okay, uh, what I know is like, for example, like in China, we have different like uh, quality, uh, different level. So it's all about, depends on your pocket. Yes. And yes, of yes. course, another thing why people here, they say things are poor quality, but that one, okay, some of the business people might say, ah, maybe, no, 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 because you know, they don't want to be like, to be known why they are cheap. I mean, why, why things of a poor, poor quality? Because, you know, some of the business people, they bring maybe let's say the cheapest from China. So, of course, what kind of quality do you expect? You know? yes, yes, yes. They want to ma maximize their profit margin. Okay. Yeah, so, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Ah, so, so. Interesting mm -hmm. that you're also doing collaborations uh, with Kenyan uh, yes. actors, and it's very, very good content. Please go check out um, Yang's uh, Twitter and social media. Actually, she also has a very active YouTube channel. And then, mm -hmm. uh, in the same, same interest, um, mm -hmm. if someone, let's say, for example, mm -hmm. if I learned Chinese three months and I want to go test there, uh, let's say I want to be in an environment mm -hmm. where I can eat a snake and maybe I can afford it. Mm -hmm. uh, what would be your advice for someone who wants to immigrate to China? Of course, you've already said that the pressure is too high. Mm -hmm. there. What would be your advice for someone who wants to immigrate mm -hmm. from Kenya or another country to go live in China? Okay, I, I would suggest that first you go and see. You Maybe you go and go as, as a visitor or maybe a student just to see, observe things around and to adjust yourself. Then you can decide where they want to stay. Yeah, because, uh, you know, the culture is very different and also language, of course, this is the big challenge. So you need to at least to have the basic Chinese. Is there a struggle in terms of uh, accommodating what people believe mm -hmm. and what you know? Mm. Okay, I, I think it's important just to respect people's uh, religion and yes. of course you don't say yours is better and or maybe being a Christian is better than a Muslim, no. You know, sometimes yes. we don't have choice because like, for example, it depends on where you are born. You know, automatically, for example, if your parents are Muslim, you become Muslim. You understand? Because, uh, so th that's my, 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 my opinion. So for, for me, okay, I, I find it's good to have a religion. Yeah, yes. it's not a bad thing. But you know, for me, because the the environment I grew up with. So it's different. And for us, most Chinese don't have religion. But we believe in doing good things, yeah. Ah, that's an interesting thing you say. Most Chinese don't have religion. Yeah. You just grow up as a human being. <laughs> you are a person. You just know good mm -hmm. and don't do bad things. Uh, yeah, but we have a specific course in primary school we learn. Yes. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's like the CIE here you learn, but us, we call it like, um, it's a, it's a thing that for teaching you about uh, yeah about good manners and uh, like uh, to be a good person that kind of course mm -hmm. yes yes and how do you manage to be good people without the threat of eternal fire <laughs> but you know in china you say you also in english of a things like what goes around comes around so if you do bad things you know definitely you understand god is watching of course that one we also believe you know you believe that god is watching yes but you don't believe in god we believe in As God. In, it's only we don't go to church, you know. Oh, you believe in God, yeah. or you believe someone is watching. Yes, yes. But it's not the person uh, other people believe is watching. Mm -hmm. So there is a person watching. Mm. Uh, if you do bad things, that person will see you. Yeah, even like you do bad things, even something bad will happen to you, you know, things like that. Have you seen the practicality of that? As in, is there evidence of mm -hmm. someone doing bad things and bad things happening to them and then now this pumps up the belief people have? Yeah, a lot of people believe that, by the way. Mm, yeah. Really? Yes. That's interesting. That's not, that, that is like mm -hmm. Christianity mm. without going to church. Mm -hmm. It's like Christianity without giving tithe. 
Okay. So there are some people also, they don't go to church every Sunday, right? But they are Christian. Ah, ah. So those are the Chinese. Mm, yeah. <laughs> of yes. Kenya. Just, the, just that, they are branded. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sawa, sawa. And uh, uh, have you gotten a response mm -hmm. to your content in China? Uh, what happens, like uh, the TikTok, the version we are using, is different from the Chinese TikTok. Because the Chinese TikTok is more for the people who are in China mainland and uh, we use Chinese language. So, okay. due to the language barrier, a lot of Chinese don't know English. So, and again, the Chinese, uh, like when you're in China, you cannot uh, have both TikTok. So, of course, people will use the Chinese TikTok. You know, English one, they may not even understand, enjoy, because they can, don't understand the language. Really? But for me, I have both because I'm here. So, I, I have the Chinese TikTok, I have the, the other one, yeah. Uh, the Chinese TikTok mm -hmm. cannot work outside China? Uh, it can, but the English one might not well, work well in China. It might not work well in China. Yes, you have to use some VPN. Yes, yes. It's not, uh, you cannot download it easily. Yeah. Really? Mm, even some of the things are not, uh, some of the apps are not, uh, you, you cannot Accessible. use in China. Like, like Gmail, like, like, like WhatsApp, those ones. Yeah. You don't have that at all? We, you have to use VPN. You have to pay something <laughs> to use. Oh, really? Mm, that is now between like, like countries and countries, there's some war. I, I don't know what they're aware of. China and America does some yeah, oh, oh, issues it's a, it's behind. A, it's a political uh, thing. Yes, yes, political on. thing. Because they didn't want the Chinese WeChat. So China said, like, we don't want your Gmail, we don't want your Google, we don't want such. Oh, so, really? yeah. <laughs> Even WhatsApp? As WhatsApp, no, WhatsApp we can't. Is. Yeah, unless you use VPN, you pay something, and then then we download some special apps, you pay something every month, then you can use. Ah, so if you don't yeah. invest in paying for the VPN, uh, yeah. someone complains, oh, babe, why are you gray ticking me? No, babe, I was in China. Like, that is something that is, <laughs> yeah, that yeah, is yeah. widely accepted. Mm. So in China, we have someone who's never heard of WhatsApp. In fact, a big population who's mm. never heard of Gmail, which means they've never heard of YouTube. Because in China, we use some YouTube. Chinese apps. You know, we have WeChat. WeChat is the most common one. Yes. Uh, yeah, we have some other, like, uh, webs, those common apps we use in China. Yes. One of the popular things that we've had mm. was a one-child policy. Uh, okay, it was there before, but right now it is not there. Yes, yes. It was like um, mm -hmm. like a rule for couples that mm. you only have one shot. <laughs> like, yeah. if you ever want to have a child, mm -hmm. you only have one tick. Yeah, that was in it. the nineteen from nineteen eighties. Yes, yeah. yes. How did they ensure that people mm. do not uh, sin beyond the threshold? Uh, let's see how did the government like to control that? Yes, yes. Um, okay, what happens like when the couple has like one child, mm, uh, you have to like make sure the lady has to be like done that operation so they don't get another kid. Eh? And then, uh, okay, if you refuse completely, now they might put the money in jail or they find you a lot of money, you know. Yeah. You could be arrested for having yes, children, yes. like an extra <laughs> Yeah. Because by then China was very poor, so the government said the only way we can now make the economy to, to grow is by controlling the, the population. Yes, that's why. What is the relationship between children and poverty? You know, you cannot give them quality life and quality education when your kids are many. Let's see, maybe some of them, they will drop school because of fees, you know. So it means now we not have, like, like people who are educated will be less. You don't have a chance maybe to, to learn like a, a course that you, you desire to, to, to learn. Okay. Yes. I mean, and did that help? Uh, yes, it helped. But of course, later the problem also occurred because you realize now the young generation, the, the population is quite uh, low, but the old people are many. So they realize, no, that's, that's a problem. It means the young generation will have a lot of pressure to take care of like so many old people. One, yes. you understand? So yes. it's like one versus four. Now there will be too much pressure for the youth. Okay. So they decided now we need to bring, uh, we need to change the policy. Okay. Yes. So, Makofi Amiang was it? Asante. Asante sana. That's it for the weekend edition. See you next week. My name is Dr. Kingori.